Okay, good morning, gentlemen. I'd like to explain to you the use of the line of credit, and different banks have got different names for this facility. The line of credit, I find, is a very powerful tool in mortgage reduction and reducing debt as quickly as you can. And I do this by the use and of establishing of separate accounts, and I can demonstrate to you why. The line, the line of credit, line of credit, L-O-C, line of credit. Okay, how does it work? Very simple. If you have a home where you have equity, which is money in the bank that is not being utilised, you've got a house for four, five hundred thousand dollars, and you have a mortgage of a $200,000 home, your principal home, home, value, value, $500,000, and you have a mortgage, mortgage, <coughs> mortgage of uh, $200,000. How can we use this? Okay, as I said earlier in uh, a previous uh, presentation, banks will lend us 80% of our home value. 80% of our home value, which would be uh, a 5840, which would make the value that what we can borrow on this home is $400,000. Okay, correct. If my calculations are wrong, let me know. Less. Less your mortgage of two hundred thousand dollars, you have a usable equity of two hundred thousand dollars that you can use. And this is like having money in the bank where you are getting no return. Two hundred thousand dollars at twenty percent divided by twenty percent, two hundred thousand, two hundred, one, two, three, divided by twenty percent. You know how much that you, as a homeowner, can borrow an investment up to one million dollars. You can borrow up to one million dollars with that mortgage investment and safely, providing, providing you have the income and the financial serviceability that you can do that. And what I would recommend to all of our friends and investor family to do, to use their equity to launch their investment into property portfolio, into establishing a property portfolio towards their financial security and independence. And the use of the finance and the home. Simply, if you have this situation, I would suggest you buy another property an investment property to the value for five hundred thousand. And remember, if you can afford a million dollars, don't put all of your eggs in the one basket, buy two or three properties. But let's say you buy one. What you do, you buy a, an investment property one. In investment property one. Investment one. Now, how much equity for five hundred thousand dollar property? Uh, five hundred k. You need one hundred thousand dollars. You need one hundred thousand of this equity, and that leaves you with another one hundred thousand dollars equity that you can use. Okay, and you cross collateralize the mortgages from your home. You don't have to take out the money and put it in there. You take a 100% loan, 100% loan, which is totally tax effective. Tax effective in your hands to reduce your annual tax and income through depreciation and deductions. Correct, any questions so far? Good. Then how do we structure the loan? What I would do, I would have your home, 
your home and your investment cross collateralized. That is, with a mortgage that encompasses the both properties, you have a mortgage on your home anyway. All they're doing is on that mortgage extending the 20% which you are borrowing on your investment property. And with the extra $100,000 in mortgage reduction, I would establish a line of credit, of credit for $100,000. Now, what is a line of credit? A facility. You are not borrowing. And what is a line of credit? It is like <coughs> business people use an overdraft facility. You will only pay interest on the amount of money that you use. A lot of people have offset accounts. Wrong. Not a good use of your money. Yes, you've got the surplus cash, you've got it in another account which is offsetting the interest on your income, but the tax department can legally say, Mr. Rossetti, you have an income on that interest and that is taxable. And it's not an effective way of money management. Let me tell you how this facility works. If you have a line of credit for $100,000 and uh, how do the banks charge the interest? Well, the banks will charge us interest like this. Now, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Uh, week one, week two, week three, week four, and we've got two or three days in the year. Okay? Okay? Got that? Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got $100,000 fully drawn, so you draw it and you put a deposit into your house. The terrific thing, you have this money, you can use any day of the week. If you want to go out and buy a property, it's there. It's there. You want to go to an auction, you need a deposit, it's there. You want to go and buy a new car, it's there. You want to go on a holiday, it's there. And the bank will structure. This, if you do it as an investment loan, they will have, at the end of the month, well, let me go back first. How does the interest work? It works like this, ladies and gentlemen. You've got now 100,000 fully drawn. Here, 100,000. Fully drawn. And which is the most expensive interest of the month? The least expensive interest you pay is day one. Because what the banks do, when we are all asleep, the bank's computers at midnight, they work out, Mr. Rossetti has a $100,000 loan at 5%, it's X amount of dollars, and it adds it up. So that'll become 110, 120 on the second day. On the second day, what the banks work out, You've got 120, 100,000 loan plus interest, $20, and they work out interest on the next day. And it'll be 21 days. And I have an Excel spreadsheet where I have it worked out, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't got it on the board, but that is an example up there on how it works. And then when it comes to the first week, you might have $100,200. Okay, $100,200. On the compounding effect and by the end of the month week one might be two hundred dollars week two might be two hundred and fifty my we don't count might be two eighty I'm just plugging figures out of the year and at the end of the week you might pay for one thousand dollars you might pay uh, two four six eight you might pay eight hundred and fifty dollars for that month how do we break? And this is where, if you go to the bank and they say, 
Mr. Bank Manager, I want a loan for 300000 for a 30 year. And now, in Japan, they've got generational mortgages. And now, and I can tell you, you'd get a 30 year loan. And I can tell you, in the future, as our property prices will grow, so will the length of our mortgage. I remember when I started in real estate, we were getting 10 year loans, 15 year loans. And that's gradually crept up now to the norm, which is 30. Now, let's say then, Okay, well how can we, by the use of this line of credit, reduce our mortgage quicker? Let's say you're both partners working and you have an investment property which is returning for you, uh, say $1,200, $1,200 rent per month. Got that? All right. So at the start of the month, ladies and gentlemen, you say, okay, I'm earning $1,000 a week, which is a norm. My wife is earning uh, 600 Okay, so then we bring it in $1,600 a week. Fair enough. 1600 here, week one. 1600 here, week two. Uh, week one, week two, week three. Excuse my scribbly to... 280 and week four here. Okay, got that? $1,600 here. Okay, and $1,600 here. Very simple. Here, plus the rental, rent at the first of every month, rent of $1,200. So, at the first of every month, we got rent $1,200, we got $2,800 coming. It comes in here. $2,800. So, what the Bank works out 100,000 plus interest, which is about 200, less 2,800. What would that come down? Quick, use a calculator. 2,800, that would come down 98, $97,200. Right? 97,000. Yeah, yeah, can you give me another crayon? $97,200. Got that? Week one. So we come here to end of week one, and the bank's computer at midnight will work out week one. What's what's Mr. Rossetti done? He's got a calculator, so it works out. This will come down to about 180. So therefore, this interest will be capitalised to 180, and that again will start like that. Correct and start going up to, until week two. But then week two, we've got another $1,600 coming in. So they'll calculate the interest of 97,000, let's work it out on 200, 97,200 plus 16, 2,000 plus interest, 97,400, and that will make it about 95,600, uh, 95,600, correct? That's right. Uh, no, rent only monthly, 1200 okay? Rent monthly. Okay, so this comes down, and this comes down here to week three. Okay, so when you come to week three, you've got 95.6 plus interest, let's add 200 to 95,600 uh, plus 200 uh, is 95,800 minus 15, that'll make it $93,900. And week four, again, <coughs> happens the same, and it comes down to 91,000, probably 91,800 um, in round figures. I'm not adding them up. So, what have we effectively done? We have turned the compounding figure on its head. Do you see how you break the cycle? And I have worked it out that every 12 months, I have got an Excel spreadsheet. Every person that takes out a mortgage that has a line of credit facility will. And after 12, 13 weeks, you'd be surprised how much you can knock off. But then you say, but how am I going to live? Quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. To this loan, the bank will attach a 45 day credit credit card 
interest free. You leave it on your credit card. I have a credit card in my pocket here that I live on. There it is, there's my credit card. Okay, I've got two. I live on my credit card and at the end of the month, the bank will make your repayments to your investment loan, to your housing loan, and to discharge your credit card. And you reply. This will obviously come back up, but it'll be coming back up. Not only what you saved, but your family savings will remain in there. And a mortgage of 100000 that can take you 10 years to save, you can pay it out in five, six years. On a normal loan, you can save five or six years payments. And I have done this with clients. And it works. It's all in this simple structure. And you working your money and budgeting. And this will compound your investment potential. And as your equity grows, when you've got this down, you can then reuse this line of credit. Pay off your home mortgage after tax first, which is the bad loan. And repeat this every month, and at the end of every 12 months, you have one saved, one month's payment on your home loan from that compounding effect. And that is how the use of a line of credit and how you can use the equity on your home to launch. And if you have a couple hundred thousand dollars equity, you can buy comfortably two properties, providing you have income facility to also to support your loan. If you don't have enough income, obviously you can't. This is good use of your money, good use of mortgage reduction. I've seen on, on the current affair last night, people now teaching people how to save money. It, it costs you money. This is a simple way. And we can show you. We can talk to your bank managers. We can structure your loans for you. You've got to have the goodwill prepared and do something for your life. Things are not going to happen for you if you don't make it happen. Gentlemen, any question on how the line of credit there it is? I have done it there in a in a in a, a PowerPoint. Yes. Because we're not licensed, though, Carlo, as uh, financial advisors, does that overstep the mark? No, does not overstep. Very good question, there, Peter. We can, as licensed estate agents, we can talk about anything any product which is freely available on the internet. You can download anything like this on the internet. This is freely available. We are only showing people what they can do. It's up to them to then get proper advice from their financial planners, from their accountants, from whoever they wish to go, from the legal representatives. We make this representation on what is available to the people. And we can talk about anything at all that is freely available to the general public on the internet. We're not recommending any banks. We're not recommending any facility. And different banks have got different types of names for these facilities. Is it clear? Any other questions? We can, without fear or favour, that's what I teach people. That's what I educate. Then what I showed you this morning is how I do my presentation, then how I do my assessment and what I do. And guys, we don't prepare to talk to people. We're not prepared to do that. It's not going to work for you. All of this is a total waste if you guys don't put it into practice. Total waste. Everything, all my time we've wasted here, we've wasted here two hours, two